This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. We saw the plane pull into the hangar and the athletes made their way. Onto home soil as he waves his flag. With the welcome home flag from Qantas. She brings home four medals. Can Ariane Tippis, welcome to the oh, studio. Hey. <laughs> Can I also say that Kate Ritchie... Uh, uh, Arnie's brought in her medals. Kate got emotional. Oh. There, there was a couple of tears in Kate's eyes. Do you know what, Doesn't Arnie? Doesn't take much. <laughs> I just need to say this as well. I think I'm more impressed with the pressure that you had to deal with leading up to the race because the amount of waiting you, you have to mm. do, mm. waiting for the, the final is ridiculous, and I don't know how you do that. <laughs> oh, I've got no other option, really. Yeah. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to deal with it. But, um, yeah, it's a lot, but I'm, I'm just so glad it's over. I don't know what I really feel at the moment. I feel a little bit numb. It's kind of weird. There was a really weird, empty feeling now coming home, which is bizarre, but it's really hard to describe. Yeah. I mean, I was just trying to picture you right, because, I mean, I, I don't know how much sort of, is it psychological training that you do as well, but where your headspace is, that moment, and you're waiting for the gun. Like, what mm. are you thinking? Are you thinking, I've just, we've done all this work and now we're here? Yeah, I think at the Olympics... Everyone trains hard, really. Physically, there's not much of a difference, but it's really mental at that point. It, Olympics is different to anything else. World Championships just doesn't stack up compared to an Olympics, and it's really just having the most belief you can possibly can. Like, I was reading... I was writing myself positive affirmations, just pages, two weeks out of wow. everything that I'm great at, basically. Just, you've got to get your mind in the most positive state, and, um, yeah, I'm just glad... It's over though because it is a lot. So in, in, a, and in the last, sorry, Kate, in no. the last lap when you're bringing it home, mm. are you just thinking drain the tank? Yep, absolutely drain the tank. Nothing left. I th- even though I knew I was going to win. Yep. It's also about trying to swim a fast time as well, um, but. Yeah, you don't want to leave anything out there. You don't know when those moments are going to happen again. Yeah. Like you, you know, I know I'm going to keep swimming, but you really can't take for granted Olympic finals. So, oh my gosh! Yeah, it's just awesome. I want to go into the mind of an athlete now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so th- this is after the race. Oh, this, these are the things that I want to know. When you become a global superstar, now people know who you are. And you know what? That Adelaide Airport the other day, there's this. The, the, that was a magnificent photo of you for Qantas in the pool that just said, we're proud of you before you even got to the Olympics, <laughs> Arnie. But now, so when it's all over, and I know, I didn't know, I don't think you were big on social media leading up to the race and stuff mm-hmm. like that, but when it's done, when you open up your social media accounts, like, what, is, what are the DMs that you get? Like, what are you getting now? Like, what's happening? Yeah, it's. I actually haven't gone through many of them, but when I logged, I didn't go on my phone while I was racing. I had someone else posting for me. But when I logged back on, it was just like notification bubble was for every notification, hundred, 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 just flashing. Wow. Um, <laughs> but um, I've gone through like a few of the DMs, and I mean, there's some real wild ones. Is there uh, some weird ones? Yeah. A few um, proposals. I just, Any... No, I just think to myself, what makes you think that you could write that to someone? <laughs> like, like what? Positive or um, just, inappropriate? Like, in a Appropriate. Like, right. <laughs> I've had some good giggles. I would think, geez, you're an odd cat to the <laughs> you, you would have you've gotta you've gotta laugh at it, don't you? But, oh, they, yeah. but these are people all around the world and they honestly think that they know you, Ariane. Yeah, but I think that's maybe the vibe I give off. I try yeah. to be my absolute self and people probably do feel like they know me. I feel like I'm quite personable, yes. um, mm. which I think is a good thing. So I think it's a great maybe thing. it gives people confidence to think that they can write whatever they want to me. <laughs> Fascinating. I don't Any- even know what to say because I feel like um, you were just talking about like being emotional. You, 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 and I hope you know it because you're saying that you feel quite numb at the moment. Mm. You have done such, you have done such an incredible thing, and like not only just for you, and I don't need to say this to you. Everyone's saying it, not just for you and for mm. all of that work, but for everybody watching. I don't. I just hope you know that like the way that it inspires people and it makes people feel good in a day that maybe isn't feeling that great oh. and do you know uh, you know and I know there's kids listening in the car I, th- I know my daughter's going off to school and probably doesn't want to go and she just thinks you're you are incredible and to even hear you say something about I had to sit down in those weeks leading up to the race and say all of the things I was good at I'm um, even you know even for a gold medal winner 
you need to do that, don't yeah. you? Remind yourself that I, I am great and I can do these things and, yeah. it, and it can work for the average person as well. Oh, totally. And I don't think I realise the impact that I have until I actually, now I'm home, seeing all you guys and doing all these things, it makes me realise how big it is. But when you're over there, you don't know. But I just think that the legacy that I want to leave behind is that I'm so normal. I'm a Tassie kid. Yeah. I'm nothing special. Um, and I'm just like everyone else. But I've just worked really hard and believed in myself. And I think that's really important. Like, that's the one thing when I leave it all behind and I'm done with swimming, that's what I want to be known for. So, yeah. that's yeah. Um, can I, You're also media trained. Jeez, Steve, your old man loves a <laughs> chat. I am not. He, he loves a chat, <laughs> your old oh, man. He's yeah, good, he isn't he? We, uh, and he, you know what? The last two Olympics, your old man has been so kind to us because it, it, it's really hard to get anyone, mm. Arnie, because you're in that. Obviously, we can't talk to you while you're competing and stuff like that. But the pa- to get the parents' reaction, but your old man's had a he's had a career in media. Yeah. But what a right like no. I can I, like I cried when my son won a relay race. Mm. Mm. I can only imagine what your parents are going through. <laughs> what a <laughs> ride. I FaceTimed the other day, they just had flown back and I was still in Paris and they were in bed at like four in the afternoon and I said, What are you doing? They said, We're what having an Olympic depression. <laughs> <laughs> So, and, um, and no mum goes, you don't understand. I'm exhausted. The highs, yeah. the pressure. I was like, I think I understand. Yeah, I think yeah. I was the one that was in the pool. And you, you're right because I think all of us as parents, you just want your children mm. to do well. And even though, you know, there are not many people out there who are going to bring home medals from the Olympics to their country and have everybody waiting in the Qantas hangar. But I think we all can connect with the parents poolside because we do know that feeling that the joy that we get from knowing that our kids have worked hard and they've done well and they feel they feel great oh yeah and they sacrificed so much for me leaving Tassie behind moving up here taking a punt on their 14 year old daughter who they don't know they didn't know this was going to happen so I owe a lot to them so I'm glad they they enjoy and they celebrate they really helped out an Irish pub over in Paris for the entire week (laughs) (laughs) so what are you looking forward to you've got back to Australia now what what are you doing this I I know you're a massive Hawthorne fan in the Mm -hmm. in the AFL so Mm -hmm. what what are you looking forward to what's the go now for Arnie so fly to Melbourne after this yeah. um, and go to the footy on the weekend. So I'm going to go and visit the boys on Saturday at training and give them a bit of a pep up. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Oh, I love yeah. that. Take the medals. I'm that keen that they're in the finals. Like, they are going to be in the finals, guys. Well, you'd, uh, think, <laughs> you'd think so. <laughs> Two rounds to go, you'd think so. Well, well, after your chat on Saturday, I mean, I'm sure you've got a bit to offer. So, yeah. And when you have such great success, I'll be like, to extend on what Kate was saying, it feels like you're doing it for us. Yeah. Well, guys, because it unites everybody. We're living everybody. vicariously through Yeah, because we're not we in are. there and you're on the world stage representing us. Yeah, like, true. Like, that's what it feels like and yeah. I think that's why everybody, you know, opens up and embraces you so much because we feel like, you know, you're ours in a sense. Um, what does that bring when you have such success as an Aussie? So, are we free Qantas flights for life? <laughs> um, yeah, what are you getting now? What, off, what offer? Are you getting any other offers? Hmm, you- um, I don't know yet. It's like two soon but a yeah. lot Have of you gold boots from Rossi yes Have you got those? we saw those <laughs> yeah Mrs Reinhardt hooked us up with those yes fantastic uh, lots of like Instagram DMs offering free stuff yeah. and so it's about deciding whether you want it or not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you, can I just tell you something nothing is ever free no, no, that's right <laughs> they want something There's from us. the catch Arnie what, a, what, a, what do you want to do after sw- I, I know you've still got an amazing career ahead of you but what do you want to do after you you finish swimming I, def- I definitely am enjoying the the few bits and pieces I've done in the media I really enjoy it and I feel quite comfortable in this space so I'd love to get into there a bit more Um, I love doing the speaking circuit and sharing my story I think people are fascinated with Dean and I and us together doing that type of thing I really love Um, so I'll get back into that now I'm taking a pretty extended break so I'm giving myself 12 months great um, just to mentally recharge the batteries feel, feel the hunger again um, but yeah I'm looking I'm looking forward to just having a bit of me time oh yeah. well done you deserve thank it you. thank you for we're doing so it for proud us of you. Oh, we're so thank proud you for doing it for me I was busy so thank <laughs> you <laughs> okay we'll get a photo with the medals as well but come and give us a hug that's awesome right. hey, well done Don't thank you very her. much for coming <laughs> Fitz in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast for more great shows like this download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play the Nova Player